Um, yeah. Well, right, well, we will uh, we'll put the the Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys to bed, um, and uh, we'll move on to another topic momentarily. Again, well, we're well, moving forward. Who, who's your team on the flip side of it? Obviously, you can't go the Atlanta Falcons, so uh, it's your turn. To, uh, your turn. To pick well, team. I was I was I was thinking. I, I really wanted to be, you know, didn't want to be cliche with my pick. I didn't want to go for a team like the Jets or the Jaguars. I was really trying to convince myself to go with someone really rogue and. The, the Arizona Cardinals were a team that I was like, okay, they've made some improvements here this year. I quite liked watching them last year. You know, they were a team who were on paper absolutely dreadful. And, you know, just looking at it now, they had the worst defense in 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 the league. Um, they have made some improvements. I, I'm talking myself out of out of picking them because obviously they're in a, a much difficult, more difficult, um, um, you know, position. I think to to a team like the Falcons, but just from their improvements, I think they'll be a team that will massively improve. Um, you know, they are in a difficult position to, you know, obviously they've got the 49ers in their uh, division who have Super Bowl aspirations, of course. But I don't see them as being too dissimilar to, you know, the Seattle Seahawks and perhaps even the LA Rams. I really do think that, you know, the, the additions, particularly with Marvin Harrison, can can really help them to, 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 to transform um, in terms of, you know, the passing game. Obviously, they've added the likes of Trey Benson, um, another weapon. And, you know, they've got young young studs now on offensive line. I think that's a, a real area that needs to improve. Um, uh, but, uh, but, yeah, I, I think this is a team that will 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 hopefully grow. Obviously, last last year was, you know, a full clean out of, um, you know, of, the, of, you know, dead weight, um, resourcing for the future. Um, <laughs> I'm saying this. I don't think they will make the playoffs, but I think they will be, you know, a team that um, that, that come on leaps and bounds. Um, I think my other team would be the Indianapolis Colts. Um, I think Shane Steichen last year showed how good of a, uh, a, a an offensive mind he is, um, and yeah, I think they can really come on. Um, you know, if Anthony Richardson can keep uh, healthy for a year, they've obviously you know, signed uh, Michael Pittman to you know a big contract. Uh, he's going to be, you know, I, I think again, massively improve as um, as Richardson's arm game improves. They've added weapons as well with uh, Mitchell, and let's see how Josh Downs can get on uh, this year. Um, we know how good their their um, their, their D line is. Um, I think it's about the secondary that that, that needs to, you know, the young players uh, need to make improvements. But again, they're in they're in a quite an open division. I think, you know, the Texans are clearly the favourites, but. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I can see the Colts making um, making a good case to get get into the the off season this year if they uh, yeah continue on the trajectory that they were in um, in twenty twenty three. So you've basically done a complete U turn on what you started out with, right? <laughs> so you went, I'm going to go the Arizona Cardinals. I, I, I Actually, can't no, be on not saying the Cardinals made the play, made the playoffs because they're just going to do a classic and uh, yeah finish dead last with with two wins probably. So. I'm <laughs> trying to just clear my uh, my own back, really. You're clearing your conscience, basically. You didn't want to lie to our viewers and listeners across the franchise. I have to admit, when you said the Cardinals prior to this, I was like, hmm, it's going to be interesting to hear his argument. It turns out it was, well, it was an argument, really, to be honest with you, really. You feel the Colts was the, the winner of the argument. I, I would definitely believe your Colts in the Colts a lot more than the Cardinals, for sure. I think the, the Cardinals, I just think, are a step away. Um, I don't think they've done enough on defense to strengthen it. Um, I, I agree with you. I, you know, Marvin Harrison coming in is obviously a huge, huge bonus. We said it on our preview show. Um, I didn't know if I believed that he would change the course for this team. However, Adam um, rebuttal with they, he definitely will uh, change the course of his team because he is just that good. And, and I do like the addition of Trey Benz as well. And also Trey McBride was just a stud in the, the end of it. The end of the season last year and it was really good but i i would have to admit even though i was part of uh what was one of the most dreadful games i've ever seen and the most dreadful game i've ever seen live in germany with the Colts patriots game um i think i think you're right where you know if if, if anthony richardson can stay healthy the whole year which is a big if uh and a big but i suppose as well um then this team sky is the limits really jonathan taylor if he can stay fit as well for the whole it's it is it's about being fit isn't it on, the, on this colts team i mean when you've got Jonathan Taylor, Michael Pittman, who, who's I, 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 it's all it fits in that CD lamb bracket for me, where I'm like, I'm not sure if you're all that great. Like, I, I, 
he, he's good, but like I don't know. I, I, I don't get dragged to the screen to watch the Colts, and therefore I don't see Pittman as that sort of stood wide receiver, I suppose. But you know his numbers and and and, and his 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 capability clearly shows that as well. But I just don't know. I just don't, I I'm a big eye eye test guy, and I don't know if he always passes the eye test, unfortunately. But this defense is also good for the Colts. Uh, they, they've got some good players there. They've been able to retain some good players over the years. Um, I, I, and again, you talk about openness of division with the Falcons, like the openness of the division with, with the Colts is, is a lot more open, I think, um, for, than it would be for the Cardinals, say, in, in that uh, NFC West over there. I think the 49ers and the Rams are sort of locked on to be able to progress through to the playoffs this year. And, and I think the Seah Seahawks would, would probably pit the Cardinals as well. So, yeah, I, I think the Colts, uh, what, what do you reckon, Adam? Obviously, you, I, I, I eyebrows were raised when he said the Cardinals prior to the show. Um, <laughs> but now we're talking about the Colts. So what, what do you think about the Colts? Uh, when it comes to the Colts, I think that they don't really need to do much more in order to become a playoff team, to be honest. I mean, they went 9-8 and eight last year. I thought that they were OK on the offence and the defence. They were pretty average when you look at the stats last year. Um, but obviously, they lost Anthony Richardson for a long time. Um, the, the big issue with this is so much does depend on Richardson. And he is someone who, who could get injured. And, and not only... Everyone sort of goes down the injury route, but it's not just about the injury route. It's also the fact that I think I read somewhere he's played 17 games since high school. You know, that's not a lot wow, of really? games. Yeah, yeah. But he's played very few games. And it's like, that's that's a big issue. I mean, Jaden Daniels has um, played like 55. How you know, so. Drafted? Well, because he's just a bit of a unicorn, isn't he? With his sort of yeah. like his rushing ability and stuff like that. So he he hadn't played a lot really when you look at his his stats. It's it's very um it's much lower than what you think it is, and so there is a bit of a concern in that respect as well. It's like there just isn't much experience, and I think that that was something that you know we spoke about the lack of experience when he was drafted. So. That's the, that's the concern. So much of this relies on Anthony Richardson and him staying fit and him being able to deliver in the NFL. And so that's the thing that's kind of a bit scary. I think the, the defence will continue to be a very solid defence. Love Leatu Latu uh, at edge. Thought he's the best edge rusher easily in the draft for me. Um, I think they've got some great wide receiver options. Michael Pittman, I think I think he is a good wide receiver. I don't think he's C.D. Lamb standard at all, but I, I think he's a decent wide number one for a team. Uh, they brought in Adonai Mitchell, who I think could do very well as well. So that's that's good. Um, yeah, I, I just think there are... The, the problem with the Colts is it's the same old story. They're a very solid team, but they're nothing sort of special. And that's what kind of always sort of makes you think that can they make the playoffs? Yeah, they probably could if everything goes right, but they're not going to do anything more than that. They kind of feel a little bit one and done at the moment. Can you show a tiny bit of love for the Cardinals just with a couple of minutes left on the clock? Or... I love everything that the Cardinals did in the offseason. I thought that what the Cardinals did was great. Um, you know, they brought in loads of really good players. Uh, obviously, Marvin Harrison's going to be excellent for them. Massive improvement, got a lot younger, which was important as well. Um, I think the D line, the D line will improve with uh, Darius Robinson there. And I feel like a big butt is coming. <laughs> well, they're not going to win anything this year. <laughs> so that's the bar. Um, they're in a tough division. It's a really tough division, and I, I must admit, I I put a, a thing out. I you know you, I put some betting stuff out every now and then, and I put a betting thing out, and um, some uh, got a couple of people come out and say to me, "Oh, what about the Seahawks?" And I, I don't really see it for the Seahawks to win that division. I must admit, I feel like the the Forty ers and the Rams are a cut above, and then the Seahawks, and I I just kind of feel like the Cardinals are just even further down on that on that at the moment it feels like it's a two three year thing for the cardinals they've brought in all these young players and the idea is in say like a couple of years time they're going to be looking at competing then um because as you said the defense it has it has made improvements but nothing significant that's really going to put them over the top at the moment 
and the offense has made some really good improvements as well. But again, it doesn't have the depth. It's got basically two really good targets in Marvin Harrison and Trey McBride. A couple of good. I, I I think Trey Benson will be good as a running back. James Connor will continue to be good because he always is. Um, and Kyler Murray, I think will be good as well because he looks like he's fit and he's got some weapons. So I think he'll be really excited. They're going to be a very exciting team to watch this year. It feels like he's playing a bit more motivated than <laughs> Kyler this year. Um, yeah. With them weapons. Um, right, Adam, Johnny, thank you both for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching uh, or listening. Make sure you uh, follow us on all social media channels on YouTube as well, Spotify, you know the works. Again, thank you for everyone who chatted to us in Ireland, in Dublin. It was really, really phenomenal time for Gareth and Alex and long may days like that continue. Oh, it's heating up now. End of the week, football is officially, properly, ultimately back. And we'll see you again very soon.